When the name Ikuakite is mentioned, what comes to mind is the nickname of a beautiful city called Lagos. But far beyond that, it is a major road lying within the coast of Amod of in local government, linking Agidimo Road, Apple Junction, Doban area, Alabawi, Oshudi Apapa Expressway and other adjacent roads within the community. Prior to the construction, residents lamented its deplorable states. There was no road here, here at all. This is where we are standing. It was a waterlogged area. No motor can pass through this place. So, and there was no development here. So when rain falls, the water stretches to the swamp. Igbo, Nikobobi, Kosona, Tamangba Debi. The road was so rough and bad that nobody can even dare to, to apply it because it was muddy. And where any time rain falls, it's unpassable. So we thank uh, the governor for bringing a Kuakete road to, to usage. For a community that accommodates mixed ethnicity, it is no surprise that commercial activities thrive within this area. Hence, when the Lagos state government initiated the construction of 114 roads within CDCs in the state as a means of fulfilling exchange promises to the electorate, a Kuakete road was among the shortlisted roads. Residents of the community highlight the benefits of this development in their area and how this has eased traffic congestion, improved the standard of living and fostered economic growth within the vicinity. This new road presently is the best we have had so far. But the challenges we face is that when the express is blocked, as you can see, vehicles coming through here. And uh, I see it as a threat to the longevity of the road. I felt happy that Ekwa Akete come to the assistance again. And uh, people around were so joyful that it will add beauty and the commercial aspect of it will boom. It's been serving as an access road. When there is, uh, with these uh, tankers and trailers parking on the express road, all other road users, they pass through here, the commercial buses, private buses, even the tankers and the trailers. It is a Kuakete road, we know it in the council, but after the construction, they, they refer to it as a new road. Everybody knows it as new road now. But that shows that uh, they are enjoying it. This has earned it its famous nickname, New Road, as residents and commuters alike prefer to call it by this, because of the newness it brings with it. In an effort to see to the maintenance of the road, executive members of the community association have to a large extent tried to educate the residents on road usage and lay out punishment to anyone who violates others. But this has yielded little or no results, as such orders are flouted due to the absence of any law enforcement agency. One of the problems we have is that there are some of the mechanics, they don't have workshops. You see them putting the, the vehicles for repairs on the, on the road, repairing them, and you see spilling uh, engine oil on the road. Automatically, you know, that will constitute part of the thing that will damage that. Uh, even there are some... Uh, uh, places you have the uh, people who sell water, like an area there. I had to go and meet them one time. You see these Hausa people riding Okadas. They will just park Okadas on the main road and be washing it there. You know, automatically the water, the constant pour of water on the road will constitute a nuisance. We have been sensitizing them, but the problem is that we don't have the power of uh, enforcement. Because these are people living with us, they have their families here. Even if we want to enforce, it will be like we are wind chanting them and things like that. So that's why we, we, we are looking up to the government. It's not that we have not been doing our work. We've been educating them on how we can achieve the, uh, a long lasting road. In relation to this, some community members have strayed this liberty by parking their vehicles on the roads putting debt on the walkway and repairing damaged vehicles on the road leading to oil spillage. 
the community leaders allow that letters are be written but to no avail. Speaking to one Richard Komolafe, a businessman within the vicinity, he highlights the benefits of societal developments. Mekalik village, Gobi, So if I don't know the executive leaders of the mechanic village within the community also have this to say. When the customer always try to enter the remote, talk to enter workshop to come and do. We thank, we thank God and we thank uh, Lagos State Government for the road. Only, uh, only one problem we have is drainage in this area. Any small downfall rain like this, every bear will be flooded. That's the only the problem we have in this area. The drainage is capital zero. We have good road, good everything, even street light. They use this medium in appreciating the Lagos State Government and assuring the governor of a second term in office. The day they were coming to commission it also, people were so happy. In fact, a lot of people came out to say, ah, this man, that is our governor, Ambode is really trying. And people, at least, we were, we were so happy. Baba Ambode, you see. The will support him for a second time.